Hello and welcome. In this tutorial we'll be exploring a couple of tools in the paint program, namely the curved line tool and the paint bucket tool. We'll be using these tools to create an alternating pattern. Now I like to use this tutorial to help my students get used to using the curved line tool but also to get them used to the idea of using alternating patterns in their work. Alright, so if you're ready, let's begin. I'm using Windows 7. The paint program has been changed quite a bit from Vista or XP, but the tools are still the same. You can find them in different locations, uh, but the tools are still there. Now, what I've done first of all is set up this canvas size, and to do that, what we're going to do is go here to where it says Resize, and I've left clicked on Resized, change it from percentage to pixels and I've created a horizontal 700 pixels wide and a vertical of 500 pixels and again if that's giving you a hard time if it won't allow you to change those what you'll need to do is unclick this maintain aspect ratio that will allow you to change both dimensions and customize your canvas size now after you've done that you can turn it back on click OK and now we have our canvas now the first tool we'll use to set this up is the curved line tool the straight line tool is fun but it's very simple and straightforward and it's a great tool but we're for this video trying to learn to use the curved line tool and it may take some practice but that's fine what we're going to do first of all is divide this surface using columns created by the curved line tool and what I'm going to use for a line thickness is the third line thickness just to make it very visible to you as the viewer you can use any size you would like it will work so what I'm going to do is start here near the top left of my canvas left click and I'm going to drag all the way down and I can drag it straight down if I want to as long as the line goes completely across the page. I want it to span the entire page. Then I'm going to left click, so I let go, then I left click and drag and I can actually move this line and create all kinds of nice fancy curves with it. Alright, for this exercise we're going to keep these curves um, somewhat limited, so I'm going to curve a little bit into the left. I'll let go of my left mouse button and then I'm going to curve back again at the bottom and I'll keep create this nice little S curve and that's basically how the curved line tool works and again it may take some practice if you want to undo that line simply hit control Z and it will undo it or if you want to redo a line hit control Y on your keyboard and it will redo or replace that line alright so that's the basic idea so we're going to do that across the entire surface creating a series of columns alright so I'm going to start here for my next one and you can do as many of these or as few of these as you would like to and I'm going to curve again I'll curve in a similar way actually that's pretty much identical I'm going to break this up and make these a little bit different so again I click as soon as I'm at the top of my screen I click left click and drag I let go and then I take my cursor and I left click and drag again and I left click and drag again now that's kind of a fun looking line and then I click anywhere to up oh, that resized it so what happens is I'm gonna take that and drag it up so it goes off the page you'll see why in a little while we need these lines to go completely across the entire canvas so that when we paint with our paint bucket you'll see right here um, that hasn't gone completely across the page so what I'm going to do is select it by clicking on this line oops control Z to undo that I'm going to control Y to redo it and I basically want to select this portion and drag it down a little bit just so that it goes completely off the canvas then I can click anywhere to begin my next line go back and select the curve line tool 
and we'll continue to drag across and divide these lines. Actually, I'm going to keep that curve nice and thin there. Let's try another two more. Now, if I just want to use one curve and leave it, I simply leave my cursor where it is and left click a second time. Now, again, this will take some practice. I'm not saying that you're going to get it right the first time or just how you want it the first time. This will take some practice certainly. It's taken a lot of practice for me and so I'd expect it to probably take some practice for you as well.